Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. I've been looking around and seeing that a lot of the people that I grew up with have been getting married, they've got kids, they've already been to prison, so I kind of felt that I was maybe falling behind on these big life moments and to stop myself falling too far behind I decided to get involved with a big moment myself and get my first pet. So everyone say hello to Junior, my new kitten. Um, this was just me. I was eating crisps for some reason while kind of showing her off. But as you can see, I was, well, I wasn't, you can't see this, but I was born <laughs> with ginger hair with two white patches. But you can see that hair now. And I've always had that. I've mentioned this in another video of mine. And I think it's because I have a condition called vitiligo. I've looked it up before and that seems to be what I have, which basically means that parts of your skin or parts of your hair don't have pigment and that means that they just show up as white so they don't show up as um, the same as the rest of your skin or the rest of your hair they just come through as white patches so that's why I have white hair I think and that's why everyone calls me patchy but I wanted to make this video just kind of showing off Junior speaking about the first few weeks of owning her and share the highlights and the lowlights there's not really any lowlights she does or she did. She did fart a lot when I first got her, which was ridiculous. It was crazy. Um, but thankfully that stage is now over and it's all highlights. Um, one of my favorite things about her is this little love heart marking she has on her side. She um, kind of has it on both sides, but on the right side, it's more apparent. So that's very cute. And she's just fun to be around. It's nice to have a little kitten kind of chasing you around and being playful in the house. Another favourite thing about her is this little noise she makes, it's kind of like a chirp. And as you can see she goes crazy. Most cats do I think, they have just moments in the day where they go off their head, just zoom around. Uh, she does this funny little like sideways running jump thing. I don't know what that's about. I think it's trying to make themselves look bigger. Um, she also kind of has like a little John Wayne walk, a little cowboy walk, where she kind of like swaggers. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's nice having her about. She just makes everything, even mundane tasks, more entertaining. Um, I will be showing you me introducing her to our other cat. I say our other cat. Um, my parents just live around the corner from me and they have two cats, Harry and Smokey, that I've shown in previous videos. Look at this big John Wayne here, this big, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Um, but yeah, funny stuff. She, uh, she's very docile when she's sitting about and obviously tired. Like here, this is one of, pla one of the places she likes to sit, just like on the edge of the couch, um, hanging over. And I've been, I've been trying to like teach her to sit on me, but she's not really having it quite yet. I think it's when kittens grow up in a litter, they won't really be handled as much or sit on the owner's lap as much, and it's when they kind of go to the forever home, I guess that's what people call it, that you would then start teaching them to sit on you because it's just you and them. Um, she does sleep on my pillow at night, which is nice, but if she goes crazy, I'll put her in the bathroom overnight. And that's another nice thing, sort of coming through in the morning and seeing her just be happy. It's a nice way to start the day. And kind of on a similar note, she's always excited when I come home. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the kind of layout of my house. It kind of has these uh, black metal bars. So when I come home and call her, she always pokes her head through the bars to see <laughs> who's coming. Um, and she'll sometimes run down the stairs. She is okay on the stairs, but the stairs are kind of like slippy. So there has been times when she gets too excited, too gung-ho and she'll run down like the first three quarters of them and then the last 25% she just slides down. But for the most part, she's she's okay on the stairs. But saying that, I was always quite scared about, you know, how she would cope with the stairs and the fact that she goes through the bars at the top was always a bit of a worry. And to kind of confirm that worry, one day I was just sitting watching Netflix and I turned around and saw her doing this, just like hanging over the landing, like nothing was wrong. And this is actually like the drop right there that she would have fallen off if anything had happened. So obviously I didn't want that to happen. 
for reference. I'm, I'm six foot seven, <laughs> so that's how big the drop is. Um, so I had to do something about that. I didn't want to risk having her like slip off the side. So I went round and picked up a couple of the big poster frames that I had in me and my, or my brother and I's rooms round at my parents, um, and just kind of blocked off the stairway. But I still kind of felt that that wasn't high enough. I was a bit worried that she might jump up on top of the poster frame. So I went one step further, and with her help, I um, cut up a couple of cardboard boxes and then just kind of taped them to the railings. So it's not the most aesthetic vibe. <laughs> it's not the most pleasant look, but it's better than a dead cat at the bottom of the stairs. So moving on to another highlight of owning her, I decided it would be funny to introduce her to our other cat, Harry. Um, Harry's kind of been a bit lonely recently. This was when I brought him round to mine once, um, just <laughs> for a kind of visit. He doesn't really, well, he wants to play with our other cat, Smokey, that's round at my parents, but she has nothing to do with him. This is him trying to get her attention, and this is her reaction. So I thought, you know, while Junior's still used to kind of being around other cats, this was like a week after I got her, and whilst Harry is kind of pining to play with someone, um, I thought I'll I'll kind of run an experiment here and bring Junior around. So she immediately went into the, the John Wayne <laughs> big sideways arched back stance to make herself look big, but she's too small to be intimidating and then I let out Harry just to see what fireworks we could create. This is this is what boredom does. You put two cats together and just see what happens. But it was actually all okay. I couldn't believe the size of Harry. Harry's become massive recently. Um, he recently got neutered and apparently that makes their hair, their fur, thicker. So, I don't know, apparently he's going to get bushier, according to what some people have said. But uh, no, they got on okay. I didn't, they didn't hiss or anything, they didn't fight, Junior was just very curious, Harry was pretty spooked, but he wasn't horribly spooked, um, and like I said, my parents just live around the corner, so it wasn't like a big journey um, to bring Harry round, but it's funny just seeing such a big cat so spooked by someone so tiny. Speaking of big cats though, um, Junior's dad is just the biggest cat that I've ever seen, like, of a regular breed. I know you do get, like, the Maine Coons and um, Norwegian Forest Cats, which are just massive, but um, Junior's dad, massive. So I'll throw a picture up of him um, at the end of the video. But, no, the, the experiment worked out quite nicely between Junior and Harry, and so far, I've really enjoyed owning a cat. I maybe thought that I might you know, kind of have a panic or regret getting her, especially when I live in such a small uh, place. I thought, I don't really know how this would work. Um, I wasn't too keen on having like a litter tray inside. Obviously, I would prefer having a garden where she goes out, but I'm sure that'll come eventually. I am always kind of looking to see what's available, see what my next move is. Um, so for now, she's an indoor cat. I did consider getting a leash, but I don't really want to be that. I don't want to be that guy walking my cat around the village. No, um, you know, no shade to anyone that does walk their cat on a lead. I just, <laughs> I couldn't personally do it. But um, yeah, once I get my next place that hopefully has a garden, I'll let her get out and about. But it was a good experiment. I'm enjoying having Junior. She's calmed down with the farts. Overall, it's been a good experience, so if you live alone, I thoroughly recommend getting a cat. So those are all the highlights of Odin Jr. for a little over three weeks now. And here's her dad. Look at the size of him. Massive. He's kind of got a moustache as well. Crazy. Anyway, that's Junior. That's my new cat. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs>